Asus just announced two new glossy W OLED monitors that have a massively improved coating and potentially even clarity that I think could finally be the OLED that we've all been waiting for. By the way, I do suspect we will be getting a lot more information very, very soon. Make sure you get subscribed as I will be covering these in depth as well as bringing you reviews shortly. But let's go over all the info. Look at this image here. You can see that on the right you have QD OLED and don't get me wrong, QD OLED is still to this day Honestly, even after this announcement in a pitch black room, it should be the best display technology in terms of the colors that it can put out versus W OLED. However, as you can also see, it has major, major issues in bright rooms. In fact, it even has some pretty major issues in rooms that have a small amount of ambient light coming in. Quite frankly, QD OLED, it's just going to basically reflect a ton of light back at you and the screen is gonna turn either gray or purple when it hits basically any light. That's a huge problem and it massively reduces the contrast, making it a poor choice for bright rooms. Now, not too long ago, Aces brought out their first glossy W OLED monitor and it just didn't live up to the OLED TVs like the LG C4 or now C5 that have absolutely excellent ambient light handling as well as far better clarity. Unfortunately, that version still still had a little bit of ambient light issues as you can see in the image right here. And it also did, if you zoom in here, you can see the reflections a little bit hazy, a little bit blurry. That's right, they did not give you the full clarity that you would expect out of a glossy coating. It had a little bit of grain or haze to it. And even though it definitely was an improvement over the matte versions in terms of clarity, it just didn't live up to what I was expecting. Well, things have changed because it looks like Asus has been working hand in hand with LG after hearing my feedback directly to them, as well as all of you guys that complained about it not being clear enough or not having as good of ambient light handling. And apparently they fixed that. I mean, take a look at this image. First of all, zoom in on that reflection there. It is a crystal clear reflection. Now we won't know 100% for sure until we get it in our hands, whether or not there's no grain at all, but this does suggest to me, and I was told by Asus, that this is going to have, and in fact, it says it right here, a zero haze layer, keeping black hues intact in any lighting, allowing the monitor to deliver deep blacks, even in bright environments. Could there still be some grain underneath it? Maybe, but in my opinion, that would be false advertising. So I don't think they're gonna do that. So this should be a true, and I mean true, glossy coating with the same excellent ambient light handling properties or similar at least to what you see on their TVs. And their TVs absolutely nail it. It is literally as close to perfect as you can possibly get. So this is a huge deal. Now, you might have also noticed that while the ambient light handling is far, far better on this image when compared to even the glossy W OLED, but certainly the QD OLED, it is still gonna have a tiny, tiny bit of lift. You can see it around the light that's being reflected. And this does tell me that it's likely going to be an MLA panel. And if I actually go ahead and search this article that was posted, boom, yes, it's an MLA plus technology. Now. I'm not entirely sure if they've used MLA plus tech in the past. I definitely know that the previous W OLEDs were MLA, but MLA plus might signify that you could see higher brightness and improved color out of these displays. I mean, I'm really not seeing anything that suggests they've made any significant advancements, but I would expect at least some improvement. I mean, for the love of God, a W OLED definitely needs some color improvements in their gaming monitors. The G5 TV, crazy good from what I've seen so far, but their monitors are a step behind their best TVs when it comes to color. So hopefully they've improved that here, but they also do suggest that apparently the anti-reflective layer results in a 38% drop in ambient reflections compared to previous gen glossy W OLED panels. So that is really, really impressive stuff. It looks like you're gonna have better reflection handling, better ambient light handling, so better black levels, and a more clear, more crisp image. And altogether, even though I still think QD OLED will give you the best technical picture when it comes to colors in a dark room, I think for the vast majority of buyers, and I'm included here, again, I think QD OLED is a better technology inherently, but I think this will actually be in practice a better OLED technology. These are going to be 32 inch 4K OLED options. So we have the XG32UC 
WMG, what a mouthful, and the XG 32UCWG. These are, quote, a pair of 32 inch gaming monitors featuring a WOLED panel in the new True Black glossy coating. Now, the XG 32UC WMG, barely got that one out, has a 4K 165Hz slash 330Hz at 1080p, and then the XG 32UC WG has 4K 240Hz and 1080p 480 hertz. So you got two different options there, probably at two different price points. And then also they did listen to our feedback once again, and it looks like at least on these monitors, I don't know if they're fully ditching the old stand, but on these monitors, they are using a new stand, not that one that sticks way out and it's impossible to get onto desks. This one is a much, much smaller stand. So thank you, Asus, for that. It just looks like they have listened to absolutely every single complaint we had about their previous W OLEDs. And it's resulted in what I can see right now, basically the absolute best OLED monitor you'll probably be able to buy. So again, if you've been thinking about buying a monitor, maybe wait until I give you guys more information in my hands-on experience with this, which hopefully will be very soon, but we'll see because this very well could be the exact thing you're waiting for, and it could end up coming out very, very soon. So there you have it. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so so you can stay up to date on both monitors as well as TVs. And boy, can I not wait to burn in some heinous images on this. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And now RuPro is offering a new detachable and upgradable pure fiber cable that sends the same 48 gigabits per second signal through its ultra thin and flexible housing, making it easier to route through walls. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.